Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at the TLX Phoenix series from 82 Studio and showing you how to use the auto load pallets feature for all platforms. We're just going to start with the basics. That way you can get up and running and see everything right away. And then we'll make our way into the other beds like the bell trailer and animal transport, things like that. But for now, let's take a look at the auto load pallets version. There's only two things that you need to make sure you have. You need to make sure that you've got the TLX Phoenix series, any of the three trucks in the rigid X2 literally that's it and then all you have to do is get this you don't even have to customize anything just buy it once you've done that go ahead and hook both of them together and jump in your truck literally this auto load feature takes no effort from you zero effort you don't have to do anything all i'm gonna do is drive up beside these strawberries right here hands are off the wheel all you got to do now is just wait for them to auto load in. As you can see, it is auto loading in this pallet right here. Now, you're not going to see what is there. However, you will notice, well, combined goods transport. And that's what you're going to see. Now, I've got my 1,000 liters of strawberries in here. Again, no effort. Literally, I did nothing. All I did was just pull beside it. And now I'm just going to pull over here to the sell point. No buttons, no touchy, nothing sold products that's it you just pull beside the thing and you sell it that's all you gotta do <laughs> quite literally it's that easy no button pushies i'll show you what it'll hold because it holds pretty much everything every production flour bread cake butter cheese fabric clothing sugar honey cereal sunflower oil canola oil olive oil raisins grape juice lettuce tomatoes strawberries chocolate planks furniture silage additive or none the only question is, which one of those do you need? All of them? Any of them? Check it out. One thing, heads up, it will not load multiple products at a time. So if you're pulling beside bread and you want to pick up some strawberries on your way, you can't do that. Deliver your bread, come back, pick up the strawberries. Hopefully that helps. All right, now that all that's over with, let's go a little bit slower and go step by step. That way you guys can follow along if beforehand it just was too quick for you. We got our truck. We've got our bed, and we've got a couple bits of, I believe this is sunflower oil. Yeah, just two pl two pallets, nothing crazy. It will hold up to 34,000 liters, though. And those pallets, I believe, they're about 1,000 liters each, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so you could hold 34 of those. It's going to hold a lot. Jump in, and then we'll back up. Now, the truck is going to kind of jump in the air for a hot minute, but just pull up. You'll see. Attach it. Cool. Let's attach. Boop, boop. It'll do its thing. I'm not going to do anything. I'll even pull up the help menu so you guys can see what's going on through here. So we can open the covers, which is nice. You can drop them down if you want to. And you could do that to both sides and the back as well. That's all you got to do there. And then, of course, we do have tension belts, which you do not need to use when you've got the pallets on there. And that's it. I mean, it's, it's just very, very simple. Super easy. Fairly an inconvenience. Got it. All right. So I'm just going to pull up beside this. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm not going to do anything. Just pull up beside it. Make sure you're next to it at the very least. And boom, it's done. Like I mentioned before, it is going to populate in these uh, smaller pallets here. Let's see if I can get up in there. So it just says combined goods transport. So you're not going to see anything specific. Nothing like that. But at least they're there. And you've auto-loaded them for all platforms. It doesn't matter what platform you're playing on pc xbox playstation whatever and then all you gotta do is pull up to your sell point i actually don't know if i can sell these here yeah i can okay and it'll sell it automatically for you you don't have to push any buttons nothing literally zero input from you pallet auto loading is as easy as just driving and stopping how cool is that? I don't know how 82 Studio did it, but it's incredible. Now we do have a few other pieces as well. We do have the TLX Flatbed X2. This is gonna be used so you can use however you want. This is just a normal flatbed and you can even do the extension on the back as well to make it the same length as everything else. We've also got a version with side gates and with a tailgate in the back and everything. So this version right here that you're seeing is basically the auto load that we just showed off but without auto load. So you can use it however you want with anything. Now here's the cool part. Now we're getting into livestock transport. Livestock transport's nice because it holds quite a few things. You can see that at the bottom right hand corner screen, eight cows, 20 pigs, and 20 sheep. No horses in there, so just 
heads up through there. So you've got all that if you want it. And we also have the Bells Auto Load. Now the Bells Auto Load does not have any sides on it. So heads up there. <clears throat> we do have some decals you can put on there if you want up here at the top left hand corner. And of course, we'll change this over to a little gunmetal gray. We'll go ahead and get ourselves one of those so I can show you how the Bells Auto Load works. We even have one for little bitty baby Bells. Yeah, so this one I'm going to make it a different color completely just so I'll know which one that is. I'll show you how to use that. We already showed off the palettes auto low, but it's super simple. You got two different sides you could choose from and you could choose from your main color as well. Now, here's one piece that a lot of people may overlook because they don't understand it. This is the pop trailer. What it does is it allows you to hook up any of those attachments to it. So for me, I'm gonna go through and I'm going to select all the colors that I've been using. There we go, there we go. And I'm gonna buy myself one of these so I can show you exactly how it works. For this one, we will go ahead and hook up to our normal bell auto load. So this is gonna be for just standard bells. And just like the other bell auto loads in the game, it will figure out which one you're using, which is really nice. You don't have to tell it like, hey, I'm using this or whatever. It's not like old games. This one, this one's pretty new and I love it. I don't know if the extension is gonna cause me any issues here, but this pop trailer will back up just like the truck does and hook up to this. So now you've got like a, a transporting, oh, I'm not good at that. Uh, you've basically got a transporting module. Boop, just like so. Uh, David, so it will hold 18 bells <laughs> and we've got our 18 bells. This one's, you know, I would say a little bit different. It's not really that much different. It works exactly like you would expect it to. So we're going to go into operating position. So now the bed will accept bells and things like that. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a boop 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 Got them. That's a lot of bells, huh? Yes, it is. That is a whole lot of bells. Uh, you've got uh, no straps on here. looks like David has removed those. That's a good thing. And we're driving around just like it's nothing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's hilarious. Whenever you're ready to unload them, click the unload bells button and you can move them left or right. One thing, you cannot move them up or down. So that may cause you some issues whenever you drop them, they could roll away but for the most part everything works just fine don't mind me i'm just creating a pile of 200 and how many is that 52 bells yeah david how does it hold 252 bells oh boy i'm gonna be sitting here a while i'm gonna crash my games what's gonna happen all right i give up i don't know how many bells that is but it's gotta be like i don't know 30 40 i don't, I don't know how many bells that is <laughs> Let's go ahead and select uh, operating position on the baby bell getter upper. And we'll come through. Look at that. Yeah, I, I believe it now. I believe 250 baby bells. Goodness gracious. I, that's 102. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. I've not tried to. Uh, also, this weighs a lot. This, this currently weighs about uh, 44 tons. <laughs> Oh, the TLX 2020 struggling, baby. It's struggling. And this is the biggest one, too. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just, you know, unload those. We'll put them over there. Oh, goodness gracious. Now we're back to 13 tons. I can handle it. So, as you can see, there are multiple, multiple different kinds of things that you can use with the TLX Phoenix pack. Most notably, the pallet auto load. And it's super simple. There's no magic. There's no crazy. Actually, it's all magic, but there's no craziness. It's just, it's it's just what it is. Just pull up beside it, grab them and go. And speaking of going, we are going to go to the outro. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope it helped you out. And if you have any other questions about the TLX Phoenix series or pallet auto loading for all platforms or anything like that, just post those down in the comment section below and we'll help you guys out. Also check out the Discord. I got a link in the description. Join the Discord. You can message me directly or ask questions there. There's also new information and things like that. Pretty active at least. Try to. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Notification you know what to do with them. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.